Hello students, welcome to SAM classes. Today we will be doing the PYQ series of vectors. Now this chapter is very important as we all know the number of weightage, the weightage it carries is huge. Okay, around four questions and that to the questions are very similar conceptual, concept wise and very simple. Okay, so both ways it is very scoring, very fast. You can solve it in like less than 10 seconds. So you should not skip this chapter and you should study this chapter very properly. If you are able to see these questions, go through these questions the way we have solved it, okay? Each and every of the questions from 2013 to 2020, you'll be able to solve almost each and every question from anywhere, okay? Now, if you're trying a JE question, that will be a different thing, but any of the KCT questions will be solved like easily. You can just kill it, okay? So the point is you take a pen and paper, start the video, pause it when you see your questions, try to solve it, go through the concept video, you should be knowing the formulas and every important stuff that should be on your fingertips and how to apply will be showing it to you okay so first you try by yourself and then you see the way we have done so what you'll do you'll be able to understand whether you have done more properly or we have done more properly and if you have done more properly do put your solutions on the comment section we really like it okay and if we have done more properly you see it you check it how better way in a very less time we have done it and you can adapt the way we are doing it okay so let's start this with the first question what we have now if a vector now this question is very important mark it down a lot of similar concepts and a lot of similar questions have been asked now concept exact same two questions two years 2013 2017 and conceptual wise it has it is also repeated a lot of times okay so let's see a b c are unit vectors so mod a equal to 1, mod b equal to 1, mod c equal to 1. So these all we don't write in exam, but for you all, I'm just writing like so that you understand this is 1. Now they have given a vector plus b vector plus c vector equal to 0. Write it down. a vector plus b vector plus c vector equal to 0. In exam, I won't be doing all that. This is all things I have to do it mentally. So what I'll do, I'll send one of the vector on the other side and square it up. Every time whenever I see something like this, I'll send do it like the same way. Square it up. So what I'll get? Understand this square will be repeating a lot like similar type. So what is it? mod a square plus mod b square plus 2 into a vector dot b vector and that is equal to what mod c square. Now I already know this is 1. This is 1 so I can cancel it. Correct. Now so what I'll get a vector dot b vector if I send that is that is minus 1 and this 2 if I send it that's it so half. So the way I got a vector dot b vector equal to minus half you can get b dot c is equal to what minus half. And you can get c dot a is equal to also minus r. Add all three, you will get what minus 3 by 2. So very simple question. But what is the important thing that we need to mug it up? Mug it up means put it in our hearts, brain, everywhere in our blood also. Whenever we have a vector plus b vector, if I square it, what I'll get, student, this one should be very proper to you all, okay? Because this will be using a lot of times. It's basically a vector dot a vector plus b vector dot b vector. This can also be written as a vector plus b vector dot a vector plus b vector, correct? So this I won't be showing it again. So the first time I'm just showing if in case anybody has any doubt. 2 into a vector dot b vector. Now will say somebody will say, sir, we got a dot b and the other side we got b dot a. Because when you multiply, you are getting a dot b and you multiply, you got b dot a. Sir, let me remind you that the scalar multiplication or the dot product is commutative. So a vector dot b vector is equal to what? b vector dot a vector. Correct. So we can add it up. So a vector dot a vector is nothing but mod a whole square. b vector dot b vector is nothing but mod b whole square plus 2 into a vector dot b vector. Again, if I want a lot of cases, cases I'll keep it as it is. And in a lot of cases, I can open it up as 2 of mod a mod b into cos theta. Now, whenever I require the angle, I'll open it like this. And whenever if I don't require, I just require this, I'll open it like this. Okay. So very, very, very important. This step should be like in put up in your heart, just like your girlfriend's number. Okay. So be very prompt on this. Okay. Because this will be using a lot of times. Now, coming to the next. Now, let's see this question. The area of a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are directly we have a formula. We don't have to do anything else in this. Correct. We have a direct formula. What is the direct formula? Do the cross product and take the magnitude. Do the cross product and take the modulus. Correct. So if I do the cross product, what I'll get? I, J, K. So what I have here? 1, 0, 1, 
and 2 1 I'll take what the coefficients 2 1 and 1 so if I do what I'll get minus i cap now I know by now everybody knows plus j cap plus k cap so basically <coughs> I got root 3 correct that's it nothing is there in this question okay so you just need to know that area of 11 gm in the vector form if the adjacent sites are given to us this and this so one is let's say a vector this is b vector is this one okay the same thing for the triangle half of it correct now coming to the third question a vectors and b vector are two unit vectors inclined at an angle okay so they are first unit vectors and they have given the angle so what I will told you, whenever we have modulus of a vector plus b vector, we will square it. Square it. What you will get? Mod a square. Same thing which I told you. Mod b square. And 2 of mod a dot mod b. So mod a mod b into cos of that. Cos of pi by 3. Correct. So let's change the color. So again, I know a vector is what? Unit vector 1. b is also unit 1. Plus 2 into mod a 1 into 1 into cos 60 degree. How much? half so how much we got 3 correct so since this is square is equal to 3 so mod a vector plus b vector equal to what root 3 and root 3 value is what 1.732 so greater than 1 very difficult nothing is there okay correct so this step is like everywhere you will be using it okay so be very perfect in this so whenever we have a question like this box go with the determinant method okay so a minus b so <clears throat> what you can do one minus 1 and c is not there so 0 b minus c so 0 a is not there in the second and second part b is there and c is minus 1 c minus a so minus 1 0 1 solve it you will get the determinant what 1 plus minus 1 so what you will get 1 minus 1 0 so directly you can put the value 0 so whenever we have a box now a lot of people they won't understand see if i have a vector plus b vector plus c vector in the box a vector minus b vector minus c vector a vector minus b plus c so what i would have written in the box is 1 1 1 okay 1 b for minus 1 c minus 1 and 1 minus 1 1 correct i'll say sir what about a b and c correct we could have written and taken common also so that's why no need just in simple way you can solve it like this also okay you can get the values in that okay next question if this a vector is equal to this and what do you say mod of b is this find the area and the angle between them is given you have to find area very simple what is area formula area is equal to what half of a vector cross b vector now what is the formula of a cross b half of mod a mod b into sine of that angle sine of 5 by 6 so half of mod a is equal to what 1 everybody knows how to find the mod correct i'm just doing it for the first time so that everybody know so everybody knows that okay 4 plus 4 so how much root 9 so 3 so 3 into b is 5 into sine pi by 6 so sine 30 Sine 30 degrees how much? Half. So 15 by 4. So answer is 15 by 4. That's it. So very simple. See the questions which are coming in the KCT is like very simple. You can do it in what? See in exam I won't write this much also. I'll just write this part. Correct. Half of I already know A is what? 3. B I'll do mind calculation 5 and sine 30 is equal to half directly one line answer 15 by 4. Okay, you don't have to write like this and all. There's no what is a step marking or something. Okay, it's not a PU exam you're writing. Just to make you explain, to make you understand, I'm writing in details. Okay, so don't worry about that. Next, what do you have a question? A vector equal to this, and B is a vector such that A dot B is equal to mod B square, and mod of A minus B is equal to 7. So, what do you do? This part is given no, always start with this minus b vector equal to root 7 square it correct the moment you square what you get again same thing see this one step is like the repeating step okay so <coughs> a vector minus b vector equal to 7 now i already know mod of a square plus mod of b square is equal to what 7 
minus now mod a dot b is equal to what a dot b is equal to what 2b square so plus 2b square 2 of mod b square now mod b is equal to what don't know correct send it that side it will be what mod a square minus mod b square is equal to 7 now a i already know what is the value of mod a 1 4 and 9 root 14 so mod this one is 14 so 14 minus b square is equal to what 7 if you send it that side you will get what 7 only so b square is equal to 7 and not doing so mod b is equal to root 7 that's it clear so if you know this properly how to open it up 60 to 70 percent of the questions will be like solved just by closing your eyes not literally close your eyes and solve it okay means you don't have to think much okay now if the direction cosines of a vector are magnitude this 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 now a vector has a magnitude 3 and the direction cosines is do you know what is the formula how to find a direction cosine let's say i have a given a vector so i won't solve it i'll give you two methods how to solve it first method is let's say method one if a vector is x i cap plus yj plus zk here the concept is if i want to find the direction cosine i'll do x by the whole magnitude x square plus y square plus z square y by the whole magnitude plus z divided by z by the whole magnitude now you see whatever the sign of the vector and the sign of the direction cosine remains same so if i know the direction cosine is plus minus and plus so the vector also has to be what plus minus and plus so this is wrong this is wrong either this or this i can do see two options eliminated very simple second thing is what they're trying to say is or what i'll try to find i'll just find one dc so one dc how will i find i already know the magnitude magnitude is about three so x by three is equal to what and they have given the cos alpha value the first dc is what two by three so three three cancel x is equal to two so where x is, x is equal to two this first one so this one is wrong first one is the correct answer that's it See, it didn't take more than what 30 seconds okay so we can do it like that a lot of people they can do cos alpha that is equal to 2 by 3 and that is equal to what x by the magnitude you can do by that and you will get x equal to 2 and the moment you get this you already know somebody can go for cos beta also okay so the moment you go for cos beta because if you see here and here negative is there because only 2 2 so that way we can eliminate these two and here one minus here one plus so what you can do here already a minus is there so directly you can say this is the answer so you don't have to solve this much also but you should know it okay it's almost similar method to just find out cos alpha so you'll get oh the first uh, direction ratio is what two and the second one has to be negative so this one will be cancelled automatically and you'll get the answer okay so you don't have to do much work also okay let's see the next question a very simple question two into see directly just open it up a dot b is what mod a mod b into cos theta and that is equal to what mod a into mod b now cut 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 you got it cos theta is equal to what half when it is half so 60 degrees so correct done so see next question a and b are unit vectors so first we got to know mod a is equal to mod b so that is equal to one now this okay just correct the question it is root three a minus b what do you do we have to make this as a unit vector so basically i have to show this equal to one square it what do i have to do square it so whenever you get like this it will be three mod a square you like sir every question is just squaring it up and just what is it not doing anything else correct yeah. so two root three now a vector dot b vector equal to what one correct so i know a and b are unit vectors so it will be 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3. Now this also I can open it up. A vector, B vector into the angle between them cos theta is equal to 1. So again what we got it, send this that side. So minus 2 root 3. Now A vector is also what? A unit vector. So this value is 1. B vector unit vector value 1. So is equal to 1 minus 4 is how much? Minus 3. So this and this gone root 3. We can cancel root 3. So cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2. It's too neonish. Okay. Cos theta, I'll put a different color. Okay. Cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2. For what value we get root 3 by 2? Student, come on, come on, come on. 30 degree. Correct. So done. 30 degree. 
Was it very difficult? No. Just one way or the other, they just want you to use this that use this concept. Okay. Let's see the next one. See, almost very similar to the old one. Again, they have given a vector plus b vector equal to what I can do? Minus c vector square it direct. Now, since I've already done, I already know how to solve it. I'll approach the question like this with full confidence, full rigor. Okay, nothing is there in this question. So mod a square plus mod b square. Okay, plus 2 into mod a or a vector or b vector. That is equal to what? Mod c square. So already they have given you the values. We'll put the values. Don't worry. So what we got? A vector dot b vector is equal to mod c is how much? C is what? 7. So 49 minus a is how much? 3. So 9. And b is how much? 5. So 25. So what we are getting? And whole thing divided by 2. So 15 by 2. Okay. Now this you open it up. That is equal to what? Mod a. Mod b into cos theta. And that is equal to 15 by 2. I won't solve. I can do it mentally only. Okay. So mod a is what? 3. So cut this. 5. Mod b is what? 5. Cut this. So what do you got? Cos theta equal to half. For what value cos is half? Come on, come on, come on. Put it on the chat section for what, what value? For what value though it is half? 60 degree. Okay. So the answer is pi by 3. That's it. Clear. Let's see the next question. A is 3, B is 4, C is 5. And one of A, B, C is perpendicular to the sum of the remaining. Very important. What they're telling is one of A is perpendicular to the sum of the other two. See, one I have taken A, the other two means what? B and C. So sum of other two means what? B plus C. So A is perpendicular to B plus C. It means what? A vector dot with the sum of these two B plus C is equal to what? Let do. Similar way, B vector is perpendicular to A vector plus C vector. So B vector dot A plus C is equal to again 0. Similarly, C vector is perpendicular to A vector plus B vector. What we can write? C vector dot A vector plus B vector equal to 0. Add it up. What will get? 2 into what will get? A dot B, B dot C plus C dot A equal to 0. Correct a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a is equal to that do. so i got this much now coming to this again whenever they give like this square it up always you'll say sir whatever happens you're just squaring it up okay nothing is there in life except squaring it up the moment you square what you'll get mod a square plus mod b square plus mod c square plus two times of a dot b plus b dot c. See, I won't be writing that much in exam, okay? So mod a is what? 9, because already I know a is 3. So square it up, 9. b is what? 4, so 16. And c is what? 25. Plus this one, whole thing is 0. So this one is how much? 16 plus 9, 25. 25 plus 25, 50. This square is equal to 50. So what about this value? It will be what? Root 50. Root 50 is what? 5 root 2. That's it. Anything difficult till here? No, then that's it. Now let's see the next question, the value of x if this whole thing is a unit vector. Very simple question directly. So the moment you multiply this x, it will be what? xi cap plus xj plus xk cap, okay? Now, what is the magnitude of this? Root under of x square plus x square plus x square, and that is equal to one. You can directly square it. So three x square is equal to one. So x square is equal to one by three. So x is equal to plus minus of one by root three. That's it. Okay. So you don't have to do all this. Directly you can see, oh, okay, directly you can write 3x square is equal to 1 and from here you solve it. Okay. I just showed this one to make you understand. It's just less than 5 seconds. Okay. The time what you are saving from here will be used in some questions in KCT which are bigger than 1 minute. So do save time. Okay. Not all the questions can be solved in less than 1 minute, less than uh, 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 30 seconds. So there, wherever you are saving time, that time you can put it up for the other questions. The next question is cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma are direction cosines of this vector. And then you have they told you to find cos 2 alpha, cos 2 beta, cos 2 gamma. Now see, it's a plain simple question of trigo. So if you remember a bit of trigo, what is the formula of cos 2 theta? That is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So formulas are very, 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 very important and they are very much linked. Okay. So the moment we write cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma is equal to what what i can write 
So this cos 2 alpha can be written as what? 2 cos square alpha minus 1 plus 2 cos square beta minus 1 plus 2 cos square gamma minus 1. Correct. So what I'll do? Take 2 common cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma and minus 3 here. Now see, we already know L square plus M square plus N square is equal to how much? 1. Everybody knows that. Correct. So the moment you know this much, so 2 minus 3 is equal to what? Minus 1. Now you don't have to do all that. You just need to keep this in mind. The moment you know this, directly this also you could have written in your brain and directly you could have solved from here and got the answer in like just 2, what? 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds. Correct. So you need to understand. You should be very thorough with the formula. So that's why we say make short notes. Very important to make short notes. Okay. Now let's see the next one. If a vector is equal to this, b vector is this, they're orthogonal. The moment anybody says orthogonal, what means? A 90 degree, so dot product is zero. Orthogonal means what? The vectors are 90 degree. Angle between them is 90 degree and the dot product is zero. Directly to the dot product. So 2 into 1. So 2 plus lambda into 2 plus 2 lambda plus 3 into 1 is 3 is equal to what? Zero. Correct. So what we got? So lambda is equal to minus 5 by 2. That's it. Anything difficult here? Nothing. That's it. Coming to the next question. A and B are mutually perpendicular unit vectors. Now, A and B are mutually perpendicular unit vectors means what? A dot B is equal to 0. And B dot A is also equal to 0. And next thing is mod A is equal to mod B is equal to 1. These all I am doing just for writing to make you explain in a much better way. You don't have to write this much. Okay. Directly you need to multiply and then get the answer. So this 3a into 5a is equal to what? 15 mod a square. Correct. And that also you don't have to write. You can do a calculation in mind. So 3a minus 6b. So minus 18a dot b. And 5a plus 2a. So 10a dot b. And then here minus 12b square. Minus 12 mod of b square. See this I already know a dot b is 0. So 10ab and 18ab will be 0. Done. So 15a square means 15 because a unit vector minus 12 so answer is 3 so you should have started from here and directly written the answer here a lot of students they can do directly whole thing mentally also so that also you can do it will not take more than 10 seconds okay so most of the questions that we are showing you is not taking more than 10 seconds so whatever the time you're saving students you should make sure that at least 40 marks in math you can get it under like 40 seconds uh, 40 minutes sorry like 30 35 minutes and the rest time you can give it to the questions which are really big where they require more time so that you can score 50 55 plus that's it next question is these vectors are coplanar so the moment they say coplanar we'll talk about what determinant will write it out what we have a 1 1 1 see from this vector what we got the coefficients you just pick it up and make a determinant a 1 1 next is 1 b 1 Next is 1, 1, C. Solve it. So A into, what do you do? Leave this, leave this. So B minus C. Sorry, B, C minus 1. Okay. Next minus 1 into C minus 1. And plus 1 into 1 minus B. So what we got? A, B, C minus A minus B minus C. And plus 2. Correct. So A, B, C minus of A plus B plus C is equal to what? Send this to that side minus 2. So that's it. What is there? Less than 10 seconds again. So nothing is there now. What is the concept here? Whenever we have three vectors, let's say X vector is AI plus BJ plus CK. Y vector is, um, let's give it uh, 2A plus uh, let's give some number 1, 2, and 3, 4i plus 5j plus 6k, and z is equal to 7i plus 8j plus 9k. So, the moment they say that x, y, z are coplanar, what do you do? You can either solve it by box or you can directly go for the determinant method, write down the coefficients here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, solve it, and you get the answer. Okay. Next, again they have said the vectors are orthogonal. So the moment, the moment they say that vectors are orthogonal, what do you have to do? Dot product equal to zero. A vector dot b vector equal to 
zero. So what you'll get? This is mu. Sorry, students. This is mu because lambda and mu is there. Okay. So mu plus lambda minus two is equal to zero. So what we got? Mu plus lambda has to be equal to two. So if you see nine plus one ten because these are lambda and mu. This is what lambda and this is what mu. So if I add these two, I'll get two point five. So this I can directly cut. Correct. The rest I can't cut. So at least one option is eliminated. Now the second is mod of a is equal to mod of b. Correct. Mod of a is equal to mod of b. So what you can do? What is mod of a? So that is root under. So square it. So see mod of a is equal to mod of b. I won't write it like this. Just for explaining. Don't write an exam. You can square it also. No. If mod a is equal to mod b, then square of mod a is equal to square of mod b. So now what we can get is. One plus lambda square plus four is equal to mu square plus one plus one. So what do you get? Lambda square minus mu square is equal to how much? Minus three. So the moment you see that lambda square minus mu square is minus three, what you can do? What you can do? You can break it out. Lambda plus mu. You can do like this, or lambda minus mu is equal to minus three. So lambda plus mu, you already know that is two. So lambda minus mu is equal to what? Minus three by two. So subtraction of one minus the other gives a negative number. Means one has to be this has to be bigger, and this has to be smaller. Correct. So if you see the first one, <clears throat> this one we can't be because seven by four is what? Not bigger than one by four. So this is not possible. This also not possible. If you subtract these two, one by four minus nine by four, you will get what? Minus eight by four. So that again is not. So directly, this is the answer. Clear. Now you could have already done by this also. Lambda square minus mu square equal to minus three. From here, you can substitute values also in this step also. So whichever you feel comfortable, you can go by that. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now a very simple question. Directly just open it up. Open it up and you'll get the answer. So what is this? If you open it up, mod a square, mod b square into cos square theta. And this one mod a square, mod b square into sine square theta. See now you have to just take common. So what are you taking common? Mod a square, mod b square. It will be what sine square theta plus cos square theta. So who doesn't know sine square theta plus cos square theta is one? So everybody knows that, correct? And square root is there. So this 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 gone. So mod a, mod b, and I already know the value of this is sixteen. This is four. So answer is sixty four. No, I don't have to solve all this. I can write directly this step because I know if I add these two, this also result you can mug it up. Okay, if I square this and if I square this and add it up, I'll get mod a square into mod b square. Okay, you can use as a shortcut and directly use it. Okay, you don't have to do all the time. So for your understanding, just to show it to you, we did it all that much. Okay, you don't have to do that much. Okay, now. we are putting up the videos like uh, whatever time we are getting it okay so do watch it each and every one make short notes and start working hard 10 to 15 days uh, we have like uh, 10 days solid rock solid let's uh, shake the ground of kct and make your ground very strong okay the next question angle between two vectors is 2 pi by 3 projection of a in the direction of b now everybody knows the projection formula okay a lot of will say sir we forgot sir the projection of a projection of a vector on b vector is nothing but take the vector which you want and on what you need the projection you do the direction means the unit vector so again open it up that is b vector by mod of b correct so basically it is a vector dot b vector by mod of b now this also a shortcut formula we have we can write it as you can write it as a dot b is what mod a Mod b into cos theta by mod b. So this and this you can cancel. So a lot of people, if they remember formula properly, this is nothing but mod of a vector into cos theta. Now, if you want to know graphically, I can show you that also. Let's say this is b vector, this is a vector. Now, when I want the projection, basically I am talking about this thing. When I want the projection, basically I am talking about this. This, if you have done vector, or what is the resolution of vectors? Is nothing but mod of a vector into cos theta. That's it. Clear. So my projection is what 
mod a cos theta directly i'll write is equal to minus 2 in exam i don't have to do all this just to make you explain the thing i did it okay mod a cos theta is equal to minus 2 and angle between them is what 2 pi by 3 so i can put the value correct so if i put the value what i'll get mod a into minus half is equal to what now everybody knows all sine tan cos second quadrant 2 pi by 3 is how much 120 degrees cos is what negative so minus half so minus 2 so a is equal to 4 mod is equal to 4 that's it clear everybody now the next question is very 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 simple question but i can bet a lot of students the by seeing the question they leave it because they see the word it is written a unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing the vector so you need to just draw it okay that you have in a plane you have two vectors let's say one is like this and the other is like this and there is a unit vector which is perpendicular to both of them so one vector is the which is perpendicular to both of them okay if it is perpendicular to plane this same vector we have drawn it will be perpendicular to this one also so basically what they're doing this two dot product is zero this two dot product is zero so what do you have to do take this vector do a dot with these answers okay correct because we need that unit vector these answers are what the unit vectors so if i do a dot product with this and with this the answer will be that vector which is getting zero in both the case if i do a dot product this is my this vector let's say this is my a vector this is my b and this is my c so basically these answers are nothing but all answers are options for a vector so if i do a dot product with b vector and c vector if i get zero a dot b equal to zero and a dot c is equal to zero a vector dot b vector equal to zero and a vector dot c vector equal to zero whoever satisfies this condition is an answer so what i see if i do a dot product of this and this so all is positive all is positive will i get ever get zero no directly scratch it now if i do a dot product with let's we did a bigger scratch okay so let's do a dot product with the next one this and this if i do dot product what i'll get minus one plus two and then minus one so yes this dot product is zero correct and if i do this and this also what i'll get so two and then we got one and then minus three so again zero so this is definitely the answer if you want you can check with this it won't solve it won't solve that's it clear so what basically you have to do is instead of focusing on the language you need to understand the language they're telling that there is some unit vector okay or a vector understand which is making a 90 degree which is perpendicular to two vectors which are lying on a plane correct so it will be simultaneously perpendicular to both of them so just do the dot product equate it to zero that's it clear again box thing so what you can do write it down a to b minus c correct here a minus b what do you say zero a minus b minus c solve it out take abc out so what you got one 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 uh two minus one minus one minus one zero one minus one sorry so if i solve it abc what i'll get uh this into this uh, so minus one minus two into this into this so minus two minus one correct and minus one into minus one minus one plus one so zero so if you're doing this this minus one and plus one so zero so that is done so what you're getting here and for the first one if you see leave this row leave this column so one so you're getting here plus one so one plus two so three three times of box abc that's it clear so don't have doubt very simple questions okay now if anybody has doubt do tell me if you are having a bit difficulty with the box i'll again explain i'll make a simple video on the box product okay now if two vectors are there represent two sides of a triangle draw a triangle this is ab and this is ac correct and this you joined bc this is some vector ad a line okay let's say ad or r vector which is dividing it in the ratio 1 is to 1 because it is the median they're talking about so can we use the section formula yes sir definitely we can use the section formula so this into this this into this cross multiply 
this is what 1 plus 3j plus 5i 5k and this is 1 plus j plus k so if i do so my ad vector is nothing but 2i plus 4j plus 6k by 2 so that is equal to i plus 2j plus 3k so if i do the mod of that the if i try to find the mod length so that will be 1 plus 4 plus 9 that is equal to root 14 that's it so we just had to do section formula nothing was there student okay you don't need to get confused too much a lot so they're just using section formula and then section formula also they gave midpoint theorem okay so just the ratios are one and one so cross multiply just added the first vector plus second vector by two that's it you'll get the median once you get the median find the modulus now let's see the next question if a and b are unit vectors and theta is the angle between a and b then sine theta by two is what See, the moment we talk about sine theta, again, you should know trigger. So if you are not good in trigger, it will be difficult. Okay. So what you need to remember is, what do we need? Sine theta is what? Sine square theta is what? 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. Correct. Is equal to sine square theta. So you got to know like, okay, sine theta you could have got if I am doing cross product. But I am not doing cross. I am adding vectors. Okay. So when can I get? If I square it, I can get. But when? If in case negative is there. So either this option or this option can go. This and this won't go. So what we'll do? We'll do a vector minus b vector. Square it. So that will be what? Mod a square plus mod b square minus 2 mod a mod b cos theta. So see, you can understand this is basically a unit vector. So 2. And if you take common, 1 minus, and this is also 1, this is also 1, 1 minus cos theta. Correct. So see, 2 into 1 minus cos theta is what? 2 into 1 minus cos theta is what? 2 sine square theta by 2. Correct. And that is equal to this. So I can send this for that side. So mod of a vector minus b vector by 2 whole square is equal to sine square theta by 2. So square square cut, this is the answer. Correct. So you need to remember the trigger formula, students. Okay. If you don't remember the trigger formula, it will be very, very, very difficult. Okay. Now, let's see the next question. Again, very simple question. This we already know what is the value. I told you, you can mug it up and you can keep it in mind. This, if you open it up, it will be what? A vector square mod of B vector square and that is equal to sine square theta. And this will get mod of A vector square mod of B vector square and cos square theta. The moment you take them common A vector square into mod of B vector square, sine square theta plus cos square theta. So everybody will get one. And that is equal to what, what they have given, 144. So mod of A vector square, mod of B vector square is equal to 144. Now we already know A vector is what? Mod of A is 6. So mod of A square is what? 36. So 36 into mod B square is equal to 144. Correct. So 36 for the table. Correct. So mod B is equal to what? 2. That's it. Was it that difficult student? You just need to open it up and you just need to keep that in mind because we have used a lot of number of places. Okay, correct. So that's all in the vector section. Start studying well. We'll provide each and everything from maths, physics, and we'll try to do the PYQ in these days. Okay, so we'll be coming up very fast with all the videos and the timeline will go a bit haywire. So don't worry about that. Sometimes we can upload 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, 4 a.m. in the morning, 6 p.m. in what is it? Whatever times we are getting, we are uploading, we are keeping it up. Okay. So don't worry, start working hard. Best of luck. Okay. Understand we are not giving up on you. So don't give up on yourself now. 10 days we have, that is more than enough to do damn good result in KCT. Don't worry. Okay. Just whatever I'm giving you till now, whatever we have given, go through them. Multiple times go through till the new videos are coming. And don't worry, we are coming up very fast. So best of luck and work hard.